Boys and girls, welcome back to this episode of The Self-Discovery Show, where we are once again using the power of social media to help you feel good about yourself. We are going to work in the internal space and design something from feeling bad from social media to make you feel better about who you are. Now, right now, I'm feeling a bit a bit isolated, a bit, a bit on my own. So to feel bad about myself, I'm going to jump onto YouTube and I'm going to search love, family, house. Okay, uh, this one here, living in an ultra modern shipping container home. I mean, even the thumbnail makes me feel bad. Like, why haven't I got that? Let's see what we can do here. Exploring alternatives. Hey everyone, in this video, we're touring a really beautiful and modern shipping container home in Kamloops, BC. Hmm, that's, that's really nice. The main house has two bedrooms and it's built with four recycled shipping containers. Wow, look at that location. And there's an additional studio space that's connected to the main house with a breezeway. Look at these drone shots. Kathy and her husband Trevor downsized to this small space three years ago and they've been living in it full time ever since. And they rent out the studio space on Airbnb. Yep, nice garage door. Kathy's going to give us a full tour and share their experience, so let's go check it out. This is hard. This is actually quite hard to watch. The idea of giving a shipping container a new life was appealing to us. There's so many of these things, as we all know, and turning it into something beautiful and something that you... I mean, why can't my front room look like that? ...can live in and hopefully last for a long, long time. I think that's pretty special. It's really nice. What I love about this place is... Nice sunset. The windows, obviously, because of the view. And uh, I like small space now, I love... Can I come over? Of ...trying to live a life of, uh, you know, a minimalist. At least that's what I'm trying to do. But I really have just grown so fond of it. And the fact that it takes me 10 minutes to clean is kind of a, an added bonus as well. Just looks really warm, really cozy, like really nice. So this is our third year. Okay, this is just making me feel bad about myself. I don't feel good. Here, and Trevor and I are here full time. I want this, I want this just... calmness, this, I don't know. It's made from four recycled shipping containers. Do you know what I mean? Just really relaxed, really nice. Okay, they got the story as well, how it was built. They're 20 feet long, and it was designed and manufactured by a company called Honomobo in Edmonton, Alberta. So this is, uh, you know, kind of what you see is what you get. 704 square feet. I haven't got that. So even though it's a small space, we still have a full size. Looks really nice. Just really cozy, really friendly. You have people over and stuff. Uh, sofa and obviously two chairs we can fit lots of people in lots of guests can kind of cozy up it's just so peaceful you know and uh you know i don't feel like i'm missing anything in terms of it being all one one big room and having it all white is just like having a blank canvas and really i feel that the scenery is the artwork anyway and then the kitchen is lovely because of the window that it has on the end. So it's a full kitchen, a quartz countertop. The cabinet space is great because we don't have a ton of space. It really makes you think about what you're purchasing. So I don't, uh, you know, I try not to go overboard. The one thing that this place doesn't have, but you could easily put it in is, is an oven. It's all just so finished and so done and so peaceful and just so, oh, a nice outdoor bit too. Outdoor kitchen. Because we have the outdoor kitchen, that's where our oven is now. Uh, so I, I don't worry about it too much, but it does have a microwave, and dishwasher, small fridge, and we have... Nice view, nice kitchen. Just a normal three-piece bathroom. It's got a full tub and shower and a nice window. Yeah, I feel really bad about myself. Nice little bathroom. And this is the washer and dryer. 
It's perfect. I don't need anything more. Wow, I just feel really, I feel really insignificant here. I haven't got a dryer like that. And this is the master bedroom. And, you know, pocket doors are great for space savers. So this is uh, what is affectionately known as... Nice space. My sleeping closet. It fits a queen size bed. And at the end of it is all of the cabinet space. And it's, it, honestly, it's perfect. It's really all, all we need. This is a den with another pocket door, which is nice. I mean, it's the same size as the other bedroom, so you could have a bed in here, but... Oh wow, nice little workspace. Nice space to read a book, do some work. I haven't got that. I just have my little desk, and it's got wall-to-wall -wall storage, and we put in an extra cabinet for coats and stuff by the front door. Okay, that's, that, that's enough. Yeah, wow, I feel just really left out. Like, why, why can't I have that? I haven't got that. Okay, so what I want to do now is try to understand why I feel so bad about myself. Why do what that doesn't doesn't make any sense? Why do I feel so terrible watching this YouTube video? That's not right, is it? Like, do you, should should you feel that bad watching this? Obviously, I've selected something to make me feel bad. Yeah, that's not nice. That's really not nice. So what I'm going to do again is go to these leadership words, and I'm going to pick four three, five words that kind of match how I feel. And we use these words so we can create references backwards and forwards. You know, you keep doing this, you keep working on these things inside. God, I feel really bad. I, just, I feel awful about myself. I just want to curl up in a ball and just disappear. Wow, I feel really, really bad. So from this list, the words I chose were clarity. Like these people seem to have it going on. They're quite clear on who they are and their, their goals and stuff. Faith. I mean, I don't know where that came from. Justice, um, again, again, it's just matching stuff inside, like, like truth. Like, what, what, what does this feel like? Express it in these words. Order, I mean, it is quite an organised home. They obviously know what they want and what they like and stuff. And wonder, as well, because I wonder what it's like to be in this home, to have that calmness, that peacefulness. I feel terrible. I feel really bad about myself. So, what I want to do now is I just want to try and write it out. I want to get into this pit of horribleness from watching this video and just try to make myself feel good again and try to understand a bit more about Rob, a bit more about who he is. Uh, so to start off with, I've got today. That's the first word, that's truth. And you're really trying to play detective, like, like what is the truth here and express it. Today, I know. Yeah, that's right. Today, I know. Today, I know I have gone. Yep. Yeah. Today, I know I have gone without love. <laughs> wow, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Today, I know I've gone without love. That's awful. Okay, today, I've gone without love. And it will continue for some time. Oh, wow. <laughs> God, I feel awful about myself. <laughs> Is that true? I've, I've gone without love and it will continue for some time. That's horrible. That is a that is a that is a horrible thing to say about myself. But it's true. That's true, and that's really hard to say. That's really that's really hard. Okay, so last time I put it into something, but I want to go a bit deeper. Why? Why have I gone without love? Because I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a positive. I'm afraid. I'm feeling a bit better. Why am I feeling afraid? I'm afraid because. Life is so short, and I have so much to give. Okay, that's true. <laughs> that's true, and I feel remarkably better. Okay, so we want to turn it into something, like a, like a, a tweet or a, or a photo or something. So start giving. Start giving out all this love. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, I feel good about being me. That's the objective here. I've got to start giving out love. Start giving. Whatever that means, I don't know. Be more patient, more kind, more loving. And, and that is that is my reflection of of this home here, of why I feel so bad, because I don't, because I go without love and it will continue for some time. So <laughs> I've got to start giving. Wow. God, that was really hard. That was, yeah, that's tough. 
God, am I just, I don't know, is there something wrong with me? Life is short and I've got so much to give. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>